Hello. Good morning. I'm bleary eyed. I'm tired. Overslept this morning quite a bit. I had plans, getting up, doing stuff, and uh, it's half past nine. And we're just out of bed. First little game of the usual for this little boy. There we go. Gotta go shopping and do a couple of things today. Ready? Go! Good boy. Okay, I'm going to talk very quickly about freedom of speech. Or the erosion of freedom of speech, shall we call it. Now there's, um, there's a company in the UK called CST. CST, it's Community Security Trust. They're actually a charity. Shouldn't be a charity, but they are a charity. Community Security Trust. You're a darling, aren't you? Now what their job is, as a charity, their job is to report yearly um, a graph showing the amount of hate crimes against Jews, in other words, anti-Semitic um, crimes in the UK. They've been doing this for years. Nobody um, questions it, where they got their, their figures from. Nobody whatsoever. They take them, the figures they get, obviously, are from police forces um, and other avenues, whatever that means, other avenues. Now, the reason why there shouldn't be a charity is because this community, support, <laughs> community security trust, uh, what they do, they promote year on year about all these terrible hate crimes, anti-Semitic crimes, and it's going up. Each year it goes up and up and up and up, creating a fear amongst the um, Jewish community or communities in the UK. Therefore, a lot of Jewish people think, well, I need some extra security. So they ask these guys, this CST, to provide more security, which obviously they do, at a hell of a price. So, it's a conflict of interest, isn't it, really? It's bullshit, that's what it is. Um, so that's just one thing. As far as I'm aware, in the UK, there isn't a lot of anti-Semitic um, stuff whatsoever. I've never known anybody to have a problem with Jews whatsoever. Never. In, I'm 56, I've never ever known that. You're tired already? Hey, you cheeky little boy, you want to go that way? Yeah, I've never known anybody to have a problem. That's one thing. No, another thing, on social media, on Facebook actually, on, um, there's a particular group I'm in from a place where I used to live which is Didcot in Oxfordshire. <clears throat> I shouldn't be in the group anymore, but I'm just in it to see <laughs> what sort of idiot says what sort of rubbish, to be honest, because that's what it is. And uh, it's called Spotted Didcot. And every now and then you get somebody, who's probably down on their luck or whatever, and they say, um, is there any cash and hand work going at the weekends? Does anybody know? You know, I'm working two jobs, I can't afford anything else. And invariably, the first comment, or sometimes even several comments, all say the same. Yes, the HMRC. Contact them. They'd be only too pleased to advise you. You know, and then it gets worse than that. Pay your tax, you lazy bastard. And, yeah, things like that. And it's, it's quite often that I read that. That's really sad, isn't it? You know, somebody perhaps I don't know wants to deliver some Chinese food of an evening to earn ten pound you know, because he's working two jobs, and uh, that's a sort of bullshit. But that's the programming of, of the people, obviously. You know, um, that isn't really against freedom of speech, which is what I started this video to be. But yeah, freedom of speech I think is being eroded, and you can see it everywhere now. Um, for instance, bollocks, right? Now, I use that word sometimes. I don't swear all the time in my videos, but sometimes I do. Um, and that word there, bollocks, guarantee now, that will be the first and last time you hear that word 
no matter how many videos you watch on YouTube, because everybody's trying to watch what they say, be very careful, mind your P's and Q's, don't say anything to offend or upset. And do you know that YouTube are not promoting any channels to do with mental illness? Do you know that? There's um, a guy I know called Scott, and his channel is called Depression to Expression. He's been going for a number of years. And when he puts a new video up, uh, he's got about a million subscribers, something like that. But when he puts a new video up, it often gets flagged. And sometimes YouTube, in their wisdom, just delete his video, just take it down because he's talking about mental illness. How terrible is that? I mean, if that is not erosion of freedom of speech, I don't know what is. Puts in a lot of time, a lot of effort. And that's the thanks he gets, you know? Not allowed to talk about freedom of speech. And then you've got other things that are invented by the spin people, government spin, that people don't realise because they're thick. Um, and it's like, I've never talked about Brexit on this channel, but I will for one second. Um, Wanky Moonface, or his other name was David Cameron, decided that we'd have a vote whether to leave or remain in the EU, European Union, in the UK. And uh, you might not have heard his speech because towards the end I think he was running down the road as he's jacked his job in. He said, shall we have a vote or not? I'm off! And away he went. And they dug up Maggie Thatcher and they put her in charge. And they called it Theresa May. And uh, that thing is, you know, playing her games as well. Hello there. <laughs> Hello. Hello, you little love. Hello. <laughs> Come on, Boots. Boots, this way. Oh, come on. No, come on, Boot. Boot, get your ball. Good boy. That's a good boy. And what happened over, um, yeah, before that time, the government decided they stop people from sort of um, conversing correctly and voicing their opinions because we should have an opinion we're not allowed one now but we should have an opinion we used to when it was freedom of speech and uh, the government spin came up with things that just end a conversation by making you feel stupid awkward whatever and uh, they got little phrases in and one of their phrases was um, Oh, if the UK leave the EU, it means we can have our own laws. You know, so anybody who wants to remain, that is their little thing they say. Oh, it's a good thing because we can have our own laws, can we? <laughs> Doubt it very much. Uh, but that's what they have. Now, these spin, they invented a couple of words. One of them was snowflake and one of them was cupcakes. Pathetic words. Um, but words that work. And even my nephew, even my nephew, people get used to this crap, don't they? Ready? This way. Go! Even my nephew, you see it on his Facebook, somebody was on about, I think we should remain because, now he's a lever. He doesn't know why he is, but he's a lever. Um, and one of his friends said, oh, I think really we should remain, strength in numbers and, uh, you know, the huge subsidy that we get for uh, fishing and farmers and food, you know, it's um, probably strength in numbers is the reason to remain. And he said, we're leaving anyway. Suck it up, cupcake. You're snowflakes like you, blah, blah, blah. And this bloke just didn't respond back to him because he just felt awkward. You, you could just, there's a vibe around it. Suck it up, cupcake. Now, in real life, <laughs> in real life, we don't talk like that. Suck it up, cupcake. You're nothing but a snowflake. It's pathetic, isn't it? But the programming and the control that the government have over these sheep is massive. It ends freedom of speech totally. You know, 
what can you come back? You can't converse with somebody if they're going to say, oh, okay, yeah, that's fine, that's your, your point of view, which is perfectly valid, but however, I think this and I think that, and the facts and figures prove this, and, you know, if you look at 20 years ago, this happened and that happened, however, if we do this, you know, there's none of that. It's suck it up, cupcake, you're a little snowflake. You know, so those words, snowflake and cupcake, pathetic, but they have a way of ending conversation, ending freedom of speech, and it works. Very clever, isn't it, when you think about it? <laughs> You're my tired boy now. So... Freedom of speech, I'm afraid, is being eroded. eroded. I said I was tired, can't even bloody talk. It's a shame, isn't it, you know, these sad sheep, these conditioned, programmed arseholes. Go! Um, you know, they believe all this bollocks, really. Oh, I said bollocks. As I say, this is the first and last time you're going to hear that word. It's a beautiful word. <laughs> bollocks bollocks to freedom of speech well my boy you look a bit tired there come on a couple more do you want to go this way both oh you want to go right down there You're my good boy. There we go. Yeah, the other um, way of getting rid of freedom of speech is by being offended, isn't it? Thames Valley Police put on their Facebook a little while ago because I'm originally from that area so I joined their group to see what rubbish they are on about and they said if you feel offended it is a crime it is a crime you're feeling oh I feel a bit peeved somebody says this I disagree with it I feel a little bit offended no they're not on about a race crime a hate crime um, a violent attack they're on about a difference of opinion. <laughs> you know, there are some people, obviously, maybe some people even watch this video and they will think, oh, I'm, I'm a little bit offended by the word bollocks or I'm offended that Bry is speaking about uh, depression, um, not being allowed on YouTube or, you know, it might be that. That's fine, you know, whatever. Right. Anyway, say what you like. Take care then, and be well. <laughs>